Hello and welcome today to Alicon, a new game coming out on June 14th that we're going to be trying today and seeing what it's all about, seeing what it has to offer. Now, I've heard a little bit about it and seen some stuff that makes it look like there's some Pokemon Snap-ish elements, uh, but I think it's got a bit more to it than that, so we'll uh, have a look, click new game, and see what this one's all about. We'll go with uh, Nate, because that's what everyone calls me. On all these videos, I say my name's Nathan. Nobody in the world calls me Nathan, but sure. Uh, oh, it's you, Nate. Alicorn would come... Alicorn said you would come one day. Oh, he's Japley. Of course he is. We know him. Oh, you remember. Here, take this memory lens. Alicorn said you'd know how to use it. Go on, give it a try. Okay, we'll take a picture of Japley. <laughs> Definitely a bit of a Pokemon Snap element there. Uh, wow. Look how much dullness it removed. Sure. Uh, the picture you just took is turning into pure creativity. Now I understand what Alicon needs me to do. We should find him as soon as possible. Sure, let's do it. Ho-ho, oh, yes, this is it. I don't know why I did the ho-ho that way. It is time to embark on a journey. A journey filled with magic and adventure. I'll explain what's been happening later, but for now, take pictures. It'll bring us one step closer to finding Alicon. The cloud you are on will guide you through the realm of fiction. Oh my god, there's a lot in this. Once you've explored the surroundings, you'll be able to walk on your own two feet. But until then, stay on the cloud. And with that, into the realm of fiction you go and keep hands and legs inside the cart at all times. Do not pass go, do not collect $200, whatever. Alright, so we just gotta take pictures of animals, right? There's no zoom in at this stage. Some kind of seal here, which is new apparently. I like his design, he's kind of cool. Certainly based on actual animals by the look of it so far, but well, having said that, I don't know what the hell this thing is. Maybe like a sea anemone sort of thing? Or a jellyfish? Copy. Ooh, a crab. Kind of wish I could zoom in and get a better look at them, but I don't think I can just yet. We've got a little recharge meter next to our camera. I'm hoping we get to zoom in at some stage. We really should. All right, let's see what's going on. Ah, Japley's back. Uh, you're back, and you have fiction pictures. These will turn into creativity, just like when you took my picture earlier. Creativity is what brings the realm of fiction to life. Alicorn is busy trying to cleanse dullness from the deep within, from deep within, but he's not making great progress. If you two join forces, I have no doubt that we can be rid of dullness in no time. Then all the fictions can be together here on Dream's doorstep, and that'll be a day to remember. So are you up for the task? Sure. Sure, I understood all that, definitely. But of course, let's find out how much creativity we are able to extract from these pictures. From there, talk to other fictions on Dream's doorstep. Then meet me near the giant portal in the blue field. Okay, let's see how much fiction we got? No, how much dullness, creativity, something. Uh, you have a few pictures of the same pose. I'll only score the best one, and if you have the McMoney box, you can store the others yourself. Uh, so we found an aura shell, which is a crab-like thing. Uh, you'll find them filled with personality quirks and averse to all conflict. Some say they are all part of a secret society. The Illuma Crabby. That was a terrible joke. Uh, fiction of Concealment. Oh, I like the way they all get like a Latin name, the Diogenes Occultus. Sure. All right, so we've got a hiding aura shell, and they spend most of their time in their shell, peering through the bottom, looking for tasty secrets to conceal. That looks like a decent score. Eight, I guess, out of ten. Pretty good. Uh, we got the Grumbo being grumpy. Uh, the Grumbo, now that's a fiction that always has trouble appreciating the wonders of the realm. They are the downers of life. Emos, are they? And are excited by virtually nothing. Can we get a score? We've got the fiction of grumbling, the Dendrogyra Adflictus. I definitely got that right immediately. Uh, Grumbos seem to be able to see the worst in any situation. Lonely when alone, and annoyed when in company. They sound like me. Uh, I still believe there must be some way to cheer them up, though. If it's if it's like me, it's food. Another eight. We're very good at getting eights. Uh, jolly flippers are the fictions of leisure. Uh, when they aren't sun tanning at the beach, you can find them taking a dip or jumping around in the ocean. They look cool. That's my favorite one so far. It's just a seal with extra flippers and pink with a mohawk. Actually, it's, it's really awesome. Uh, Zalifus Festivus. We've got it sunbathing. 
They love lying around the sun, but too much time on land can be bad for their skin, so they balance it out with frequent laps around Idol Island. This doesn't look like it's going to be as good a score. Ah, oh, seven. That sucks. Probably need to get better pictures of those guys then. Uh, all done. You've discovered three new poses and sparked 23 new glimmers of creativity on this trip. Uh, so click on pose carving, see taken pictures, or on the arrow sign on the right to move on. Right, we'll move on. See what uh, we can do next. I've been promised that we can move around on our own two feet. Move freely. Sup, Gromit? Sure. How you doing, Wallace? Uh, we're running low on donuts down on Idyll Island. So why don't you grab some from here and bring them down to share with the rest of the islanders? Here, throw this one at this rock for me. Hold and then release F to throw a donut. I tried throwing it at the rock. You want it a bit higher than that, don't you? Okay. Aiming is tricky in this game. There you go. Definitely a seal. <laughs> I, love, I love the way he talks as well. Ah, that was rad. I've got a donut tossing stand over there behind Kooky Bird's hut. Come on over anytime. So I guess that might give us different poses for animals if we, you know, excite them with donuts. Look, we can move around. Shift to run, space to jump. Holy crap, you float when you jump as well. What are you? Can I take a picture? No, we have to find it before we take before we can interact with it in this world. We have got the crab thing, the aura shell, I believe it's called. Uh, shh, stay quiet. The society demands secrecy. Uh, the most glorious, glorious society of concealment. Uh, what does it do? Uh, we investigate secrets within the realms of fiction. In fact, the torches you see here on Dream's doorstep were all placed by the society. They act as guides for when all else goes dark. The society has used them for ages. Uh, to light the way within the dark, musty caves beneath the realm. Some secrets only reveal themselves under certain... Oh man, I can't be bothered reading all this stuff. Uh, let's see if I can join though. So I need to prove my worth. I guess I haven't yet. Okay, we'll come back when we get something worthy of joining the society. And as for you, Jolly Flipper, what are you up to, buddy? Sup? This weather is, like, perfect for some donut tossing. Nah, we don't need to. I I've learned the donut toss, so we need to go out and find some more creatures, I guess. There should be a portal somewhere or something to tell me where to go. Hey, Japley! Can we go through here, buddy? Uh, Let's head back to the realm. Sure. It's a little bit... Uh... Not quite as hand-holdy as I thought it might be at this stage. Uh, this is a map of the realm of fiction. As you restore creativity, more places will open up for you to explore. I've put signs with my estimates of how much you'll need for each location. Uh, you next stop is Snowdrop Slopes. Alicon must be within the Well of Whimsy. Of course he is. It's going to be a long road ahead to get there. Keep taking pictures in the realm of fiction and helping fictions here on Dream's doorstep. That's sure to help restore your creativity. Can we go to Kooky Village? Oh, we I thought for a second there we were in Kooky Village. He's actually moving. Have a donut. He doesn't like it. It's new again, though. That's a Kooky Bird. We need that one. Donut! Damn it, I can't aim. Damn it, I don't think I got what I wanted out of that one. You have a donut. Oh, that's new as well. I wonder how many poses they can all have. There we go. Did I hit it with it? There's something down there that I totally missed. He's calling his lawyer. All right, I like this game's sense of humor. All right, we definitely missed a new creature, but we got the kooky bird, which I think is the main thing, because we can now talk to him back at Dream's doorstep. Let's get the bird. This will be a shot and a half. Oh, I got it! Oh, <laughs> nailed it. Damn it, I couldn't take a picture. I don't know if I've run out. Don't, throwing, don't throw anything at me chest. Well, I've got to now. Okay, now we can get into the captain's lair. I have no idea what's going on, but I like it. 
So that's just a new pathway in this world, I guess. I want to take a picture of you too. I want to go that way. Damn it. I don't think we can just yet. How dare ye touch me booty. I don't think we need any more pictures of those guys. Oh, an improved one of that guy. That's awesome. What are you? Oh, it's another kooky bird. New picture of him. Sweet. I think we're about done. See if we can grab one on the way out. Didn't look like we got anything better there. All right, what do we got? That seemed pretty good. The game's going to tell me otherwise, isn't it? But it seemed pretty good. Had a lot of shots. All right, a kooky bird. The forgetful nature and single-minded pursuit of kookies makes them ill-suited for life outside Idil Island. But on the island, they prosper. All right, now we've filled that one in in the world so we can go and talk to it. Uh, the fiction of wanting the Bullocornis Kukinus. Of course. It's a swaggering kooky bird as well. This looks like a pretty good picture. The size of the thing isn't great. Eight will do. I want to get a nine before we end the video at some stage. That'll be great. Uh, the flexing captain, the scourge of the high seas. My word. I cannot imagine the adventures he's been through. And we get to keep him as well. He's here. Uh, the Fiction of Horn Swoggling. Uh, Diogenes Occultus Pirata. I wonder what Pirata means. I haven't got a clue. Uh, I heard the captain won his first ship in a flexing competition. Since then, flexing has been his answer to most problems that come his way. I, I, I don't think I'm winning any flexing competitions. At nine, we got it. We got it. Sweet. Uh, did you know that every fiction sees the colors of the realm in their own way? The captain has only one signature pose, so from it alone you've gained enough insight to know how they see the colours of the realm. You should talk to McMoney to get a picture storage box. You'll need one to see how fictions view the world. Ah, that guy's McMoney. I was just about to ask who's McMoney. McMoney's are expert traders and sales fictions. They make their homes in treasure chests so that everyone can see how wealthy they are. Sounds like a bit of a dick. A Horamus. Opies. Uh, once disturbed, a McMoney will pop out and stand ready to defend its precious home. Oh, this is a good picture. Oh, the size of it. We need that. We need it slightly better to get a ten. Uh, when a McMoney isn't attending to its business, they spend their time hiding inside the chests that occasionally pop into existence on the beach. I think they count their wealth in there. This one's, the size is going to be dreadful for this one. We need to get closer. Maybe an 8? 7. Rubbed 66. That's not too bad. And we got a busy bird being hit. This is from my amazing shot. Uh, busy bird, these beaky fictions love telling others how to act and spend their entire lives in the air so they can squawk directions non-stop. They even sleep while flying. So the size of that isn't going to be very good because you have to be a long way away from them unless you can ground them somehow. Uh, but it was an amazing shot. Busy birds are quite hardy, used to dodging debris, but even they can sometimes get hit by an expert marksman with a donut. Seven? I'll take it. I'll take a seven. And a busy bird flapping its wings. The Idyll Island climate is very hot, so busy birds learn to flap their wings in order to remain cool. Seven again. Yeah, you can just about tell when these things fill up what you're going to get. Uh, we've got a Grumbo reacting. I suppose trying to cheer Grumbo up with a donut was worth a shot, but I don't think it was quite enough. We'll just have to keep trying other methods. It's pretty good at eight. Nine! Apparently I'm too pessimistic about my own chances. I've seen all the poses of Grumbo, so I, can, I have enough insight to know how they see the colours of the realm. You should talk to McMoney to get a picture storage box. Sure. We've got the Jolly Flipper Donut trick. Which is going to get us what? Eight. Eight. Almost over 100 insight here. We should get it with the Springy Jolly Flipper. Pretty good. Eight again. Yeah. Perfect. Right. 105. Beautiful. Got an idle kooky bird, which you can barely see there. Uh, they're rarely still, so this is actually quite a rare shot, apparently. Nine? Damn it. 113. 
and an Orishel on alert. I've stopped reading the things at the bottom for now because we know enough about these guys at the moment. If you want to pause and do it for yourself, feel free. And a flying kooky bird. We might have all the poses for the kooky bird now. It can't have too many more. 130. Sweet. And a bummed kooky bird. Oh, I don't know what I did to make it bummed out, but I'm sorry. Eight will do. Airborne Orishel. Oh my god, we got so many new pictures. That's got to be a nine at least. A ten? We got a ten. Incredible. I didn't think I'd get a ten. Ever. I usually suck at these type of games. That's got to be close to a ten as well. Thought I was going to get two in a row. Uh, all done. You've discovered 15 new poses and sparked 124 new glimmers of creativity on this trip. All right, let's go and see if there's anyone around here to talk to now that will help us in any way. We got the captain. Ah, I spy ye skulking bout, not seeing beyond your nose. Here, let me learn ye the magic squint. I'm going to drop that voice now. I've perfected... No, I'm not. I've perfected it since it'd be a pain to take me eye patch off every time. There we go. Now I'm going to drop that voice. Uh, so we can enter zoom mode. And then zoom in more. That's how you do it. Knew there would be. There had to be a zoom, because otherwise getting close up to those busy birds was going to be impossible. Uh, jolly good. Now, if you're fixing to help me, come on over here and we'll talk about the sweet tree. All right, let's see what he's got to say. We'll float over to him. What's up, Captain? Uh, ahoy, wants thee to help me muster a crew? Sure. Jolly, me Orishel Hearties man the braces, but we can't go to loan. Bunch of buckos left letters at the Thought Globe, but saw Landlubber speak. Okay, what do you want me to do? Wants to pick one and help me read them. Okay, let's read the one with Kooky Bird. I'll translate this for him. What should the education line say? Eat Kooky, no Kooky, tasty, become smart, right? Years of practical training at Kooky Acquisition and Digestation? Sure. Next one, special skill. Sure. I, none of this is correct. Uh, we're going we're gonna to do it in the most fancy English we possibly can. And see if he understands this at all. I'm going to guess he won't. I see. So he wants us to put it into pirate talk. We can do that. Don't know what we get for it, but we can totally do it. Let's see. We'll translate it. Uh, Got me smarts by splicing the main brace, fighting scurvy. Plundered many a doubloon and hauled wind towards the crow's nest. That'll do. He should understand that, right? Aye, that'd be one dopey bucko, but perfect for a quartermaster, with, what with the savviest scurvy. Alright, that just gets us insight. Nice. I guess we could do all of these. We could customize the flag now. Nah, I'm okay with it. Alright, should we go out on another trip? In fact, we should see the kooky bird first. He might have something to sell us or something. Oh, we've made. <laughs> he's got the pirate hat. I wonder if that's because we made him the quartermaster. Uh, I'll try and help. The unattainable kooky. I don't know what I'm looking for. See if we can get a picture chest from McMoney. Uh, I have some treasures. Tre treasures even? I can't say words now. Get him a shell. Okay. All right, we're going to go back out on another quest. See if we can find another place to go to. I guess we can go to the captain's lair, but I think that's on the same place. We could wander. Ah, I see. So we have to explore the captain's lair and then we can wander. Because at the moment, these little sections are very Pokemon snappy where it's like, 
Oh, hello. What the, what the hell are you? We can zoom. Zoom. I can't zoom and click. Have a donut. No, damn it. I can say that has to be an improved shot. Okay, the cooldown is absolutely destroying me here. I'm just trying to get improved shots of these guys at the moment. I'm not even throwing donuts, am I? Hey, Captain. I think he only has one pose, doesn't he? Improved shot of that. We'll throw the donut. That's a good shot. I think we're just doing it backwards now. Which is fine. Didn't get anything for that, I don't think. Nah, I want uh, I want better shots. What the hell's that? Is that a thing? Appears to be some kind of horn. Oh, we can absolutely do something with it. What on earth is that? What? Is that a flying whale? That we can get a shot of? This will be one hell of a lob. Oh, so close. No, come lower. Damn it. I think I could reach that, but not not now. It's gone too far. Oh, hello. What the hell are you? Have a donut. Oh, I think I got it just before the end there. Oh. It was a close run thing. Uh, let's see. The Enlightened One Stumped. Uh, it's his dumbfounded expression belies his inner wisdom, just like me. Uh, always questioning the nature of our existence, unsatisfied with any straight answer. Okay, but how many points did it get me? That's all I care about. Uh, set of sapiens. Sapiens? Well, well we're hom uh, homo sapiens is a thing, right? I don't know. Anyway, uh, one of the enlightened one's beliefs is that the universe is redrawn from scratch every moment, so one should be constantly surprised. I suppose sometimes getting bonked with a donut out of nowhere, nowhere supports this theory. I am the universe. Nine? Nine. We got our ten, I'm happy. We got a pacing enlightened one, which is not quite as good, maybe an eight. Yep. And a flying Celestios. He spends most of his time traveling in outer space but occasionally comes back to check up on his beloved idol island. Of course you would, wouldn't you? If you were in outer space, you just nip home occasionally. Uh, set us up Volans. Uh, while flying up in space, Celestios is responsible for the auroras that you see all around. Go talk to him, and perhaps you'll, you can help him create a new one. Alright, that might be a 10. Pretty damn good picture. Nice. Of the unicorn whale from space. Celestios has only one signature pose, so from it alone, you gained enough insight to know how they see the colours of the realm. Uh, you should talk. So I couldn't hit it with the donut then, apparently. Or maybe I could, but it wouldn't have changed anything. Probably. Uh, you should talk to make money to get a picture storage box. <clears throat> yes. Apparently, there's a wiggling jolly flipper in here somewhere. Oh, uh, okay. It's too hard to see from that shot. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't see it. I like, by the way, in the picture, all the assets are still moving. Like, you can see the trees wobble and the grass, like, blow in the wind, even though it's technically a picture. Sure. Got a better McMoney out of the box, and that was a 9 last time, so... Yep, bumps us up to a nice 10. Perfect. A hiding McMoney. Up to a 9. What do we got? Grumbo being grumpy. Probably up to a 9. Maybe a 10. Looks pretty good to me. Yes. Perfect. Scurrying Orochelle. Oh, I like that shot as well. That's sort of arty from underneath, and it's a 10. Nice. And the busy bird flapping its wings. Pretty good shot. Up to a 9. I'll take it. I'll take it. I wanted to throw a donut at that, but I couldn't get the shot. That's a Pisthetius Victoria. I totally read that wrong. They might only have one pose. Should be a 9 anyway, right? Oh, we got a Jolly Flipper doing a flip. Again, where is it in that shot? 
The game is a little bit, uh, not demanding enough with those I tend to find. Anyway, we got five new poses and sparked 48 new glimmers of creativity on this trip. All right, let's uh, move on and let's see if we can have a wonder now. We should be able to. Where is it? Where do I go? Is it over this way? I think what we'll do is we'll see if we can have a wonder, see what we find on that, and then call it a day for this video. Let's see, wonder. Yes, now I can. Perfect. So I should just be able to walk around and see what I can find on my own. Yeah, okay. This makes things a hell of a lot easier. I like this. That now that I've done everything that I wanted to do, I can just go and take the shots that I need. Hey. Hey, be cool. Face me. Face me. There you go. Improve. Love it. That's a new shot. Wow. An improved version of the same shot, probably. Now, is there anything we actually missed? Like, properly missed? That's a new shot because he's, like, flailing, I guess? We'll improve it, sure. Ah, I missed these guys. Not a clue what they are. Hey, you want a donut thrown at you? Oh my god, I feel bad about that. <laughs> I'm real sorry, buddy. I didn't know it was going to do that to you. Oh, look, they hang in the trees. They're like bats. Except bats hang in caves, but still. Ah, that's a good shot. All right, let's go and see if we can find bubbles quickly as well. I figure that he'll be a one we need a new shot of. I don't know where he was, though. He was towards the start of the captain's path, and the captain's path was backwards. Oh, tell me I can climb that. Yep, just like Skyrim. Hey, Captain. I should go behind you in a second and see what's there as well. But I really want to get this guy first. Where was he? Throw a donut in there, see if it helps. Yes, it does. Oh, my God. How is that not a new thing? Really? Do I need to get more of it? Yeah, maybe. I just kind of wanted to get the crab out of it first, though. But I like that you can find that sort of thing. That's really cool. Like little hidden secrets about here. <laughs> what are they doing? All right, this game is pretty damn cool. It is very much Pokemon Snap, but more. Ah, there you are, Bubbles. Hello. Get an improved shot of you. See what happens if you throw a donut. Ow. There we go. Got it. All right, we should probably leave him alone now. I think we've got everything we needed to get from here. Don't know if there's any more creatures hanging around. Anything in particular to do. Let's just have a check. Sorry, Orishel, can you... Can you get out of the way, please? No, you're still just going to stand there. All right, I'll go around. One of those guys down there. There's a busy bird again. That's all it is. Probably get a better picture of the... Uh, wisdom creature thing. Before I hit it with a donut. There we go. All right, should we head back? I think so. Oh, is that not how you do it? You have to click on it. I thought I'd just walk straight through for some reason. Let's have a C. How many points we got for that? Should have been some improvements. Perhaps not as many as I'd like. This one goes from an 8 to a 10. Beautiful, beautiful. When you can wander around, it's a lot easier, to be fair. The Hiding Aura Shell goes from an 8 to a 10 again. The Bubbles Blowing a Bubble is brand new. And is worth a 10 by the look of it to me. Perfect. All right, the blinking bubbles, which is a really bad shot, but he thinks it's the best for some reason. I guess it's the only one we got. Not quite the 10 that we were looking for, though. Watchful bubbles. Have we improved that to a 10? We have. Beautiful. Hiding McMoney was already a 9. I just took that shot for fun, but apparently that's a new 10. We're a perfectionist as well. Steam says so. Uh, McMoney haggling. It's a new pose. I didn't realize that. I thought it was they were like fighting each other or something. And a peeking one, too. We could get a lot better shots of both of those. Uh, the Lord of the Sea watching. Oh, there he is. He's here as well. Cool, I like that. 
Oh, I didn't try and read his name. I didn't see what it was. Damn it. it must be a pretty good shot, because I think you have to get his entire body in it, which kind of sucks. I could have just taken a photo of his face, but it was a 10, so I'm not really complaining. Uh, he's only got one signature pose as well. And the hanging Rayte. Right eye? Rayte. Rayte. I like how they all show up in this place when you find them as well. But I hope there's more creatures to find later on. Because uh, if, if they all come back here, this place will be packed. Alright, we're up to a 9 on that. Beautiful. Rayte playing dead. Oh, it plays dead. I didn't actually hurt it. Look, I'm a nice guy. Gotta be a 9. Yeah. Alright, we got anything else? The flying Rayte. Must be a 10. Look at that shot. Yeah. Knew it all along. The digging McMoney. The McMoneys have so many damn poses. Nine? That must be damn close to a ten. Ah, we found all the poses for McMoney now as well. The wiggling jolly flipper. Gotta be a ten. Yep. We must be getting close to the end of this now. The bummed kooky bird. That's a perfect shot. Come on. That's not a ten. How could I have done better with that? All right, there we go. That is everything new we discovered. I think we've done quite a bit in this video. We filled out this place a lot. And damn, it was actually pretty damn fun. That was Alicon, available on the 14th of June. Uh, I did get sent this key uh, prior to release for the purposes of making this video and for free. So thank you to the developers for that. And if you enjoyed this video, leave me a like, subscribe and all that nonsense. And I've been Nathan. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.